Ready? Yeah. Um, everyone, King of Rise has run really well here today. Um, you know, we've done all the hard work in front of ourselves, which is frustrating, but we were quite happy to be doing that anyway. Um, he's been quite green, you know, he's never travelled properly anywhere. When we've gone into our jumps, he's wandered around a little bit, but he's jumped nicely on the whole. We missed the last completely, but he was quite clever at that because we were on such a bad stride. He had to do something and he just fiddled his way through it. So that was nice enough. Um, look, there's, there's definitely an obvious hurdle in him and there's definitely races in him. Um, ideally, next time I'd probably have a lead. In the race that we were in today, we had to pop him out like we did because otherwise we'd have trotted around at no speed and we'd have got beaten even further for that because we, we wouldn't have done it for tow. So, um, but he's run really well. He's jumped nice enough on the whole and hopefully with a bit more racing, he'll just learn how to travel a bit stronger and do everything right. But he's done nothing wrong in the feet today either. Handled that ground fine, yeah. We slipped turning in, which probably didn't help us. It didn't cost us anything really either, but it didn't help us anyway. Would you stick to that sort of trip or? Step I'd step him up in trip, to be honest. Yeah. Step him up in trip, because we, we've not gone overly quick for the first couple of furlongs, but after that, I've wound it up with a circuit guard, really wound it up and wound it up and wound it up. And I've still been done for tow by one, all right, it's only by one horse, but I've still been done for tow. And that's come from quite a long way back as well. So I wouldn't be afraid of ste stepping up in trip and just riding him very handy and then using him far enough out then anyway. Thank you very much.